have you ever heard of Bitcoin? Yeah, I have heard of Bitcoin. Okay, and uh, what exactly have you heard about? Um, that's the company Drake used to do his betting with Barcelona and Real Madrid game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he actually lost that bet. Huh? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen. In today's video we're at the National Institution of Public Administration also known as NIPA. And in today's video we're going to be asking a bunch of random students here at NIPA what they know about cryptocurrency. With that being said, let's get into the video. What's up YouTube? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are living right. Welcome back to another vlog. In today's vlog, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to Nippon. We're going to be going to Nippon, huh? Oh, and by the way, I'm with the click. Say hello, oh, click. Yo, yo, yeah, y'all yeah. are ready, ready now. The click is in the house, man. Y'all are ready now. So, first we're going to Nippon. We're going to be interviewing random students at Nippon and Evelyn Horn and also Zikas, most likely, about what they know about cryptocurrency. Apart from that, we're also going to go to a place known as Bonanza. Now, make sure you guys stay tuned for this video. With that being said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell in order for you guys to be elated every time I drop a video. Let's get it. Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are living right. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the National Institution of Public Administration, also known as NIPO. Now, in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be asking a bunch of random students here at NIPO what they think about cryptocurrency. With that being said, let's jump the video. We have our very first person that we're going to be interviewing. Hi, what's your name? Sorry, come again? That's it. Natasha, um, are you studying here at Nippon? Yes, I am. And what exactly are you studying? <laughs> All right, Natasha, we have a question for you today. Okay, um, what do you know about cryptocurrency? Nothing. You know nothing about cryptocurrency. <laughs> no. Have you ever heard of uh, of Bitcoin? Yes. You've heard of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. What What have you heard about Bitcoin? It involves money. It involves money. Okay, so Natasha, um, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency are basically the same thing. And um, we're doing a little survey here at NIPA in different kinds of universities in order to educate people about this cryptocurrency. You could do, huh? So you'd like to learn more about cryptocurrency. All right, thank you so much. We're here with our second person that we are actually interviewing. What's your name? Silanju Mumba. All right, Silanju Mumba, are you studying here at Zika's currently? Oh, sorry, Nipa. Are you studying here at Nipa currently? Yeah, I am studying at Nipa. Uh, and studying. what are you studying? Yeah, development studies. Oh, wow, development studies, ladies and gentlemen. All right, um, so Elanji Mumba, we have a question for you today. Um, what do you know about cryptocurrency? Nothing. <laughs> okay, um, have you ever heard of Bitcoin? Yeah, I have heard of Bitcoin. Okay, and uh, what exactly have you heard about? Um, that's the company Drake used to do his betting with Barcelona and Real Madrid game. Ah. <laughs> Wait, he actually lost that bet, yeah? Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> that, yeah. That, that, that was crazy. So Wait. I bet Bitcoin is the betting company. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, yeah, in line actually, because uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is just a virtual currency, basically. It's not really a betting company, but it's actually money that you can use online you know just like how we have the kwacha mm -hmm. and uh, the british pound we have the south african rand these are different kinds of currencies that we use yeah as fiat cash but then we have cryptocurrencies which is virtual money and bitcoin is just like uh, let me just give an example of the united states dollar. it's just like a currency 
Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that, that is actually what Bitcoin is, and uh, it's really good money. There are a lot of ways to make money with Bitcoin. Now, let me ask you another question. Would you like to learn how to make money with cryptocurrency? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely, yeah? yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Yolanda Mumba, for your time. Have a nice Okay, day. ladies and gentlemen. So we have here our third person that we're actually going to be interviewing. So, what's your name? Mulea Moshes, Mr. Mulea Moshes. So, um, are you currently studying here at Nippon? No. No? Um, just a quick discussion. Okay. okay. But uh, are you are you studying anything in particular? Yeah, I am a student. Uh, I am studying economics and finance at uh, Information Communication in the oh. ICU. ICU. That's, oh, that's one in Chawala. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I actually took a course there part time. Some time, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay, so uh, Mr. Mlea, today we are basically just asking um, people random questions about uh, cryptocurrency. So sure. we have a question for you. Sure. Um, what do you know about cryptocurrency? Uh, nothing much. I think uh, my knowledge about cryptocurrency is basically digital currency, and uh, it's most associated with scam. Uh, okay. When, when I see, with I see cryptocurrency, I think for me. It's this guy's scam. It's a scam. Yeah. Alright, so um, have you have you ever tried investing in it? Uh, not really. I have friends that have actually done an investment in that. Uh, I can just remember two or three years ago. Uh, some friends wrote some money in a similar kind of a business. Okay. Yeah. No, it was... Uh, wait, wait. How, how, how did it turn out for your friends? I mean, did they emerge victorious or maybe they, they lost money? They did actually lose money, and um, I think two of my friends, uh, my former students, uh, even, okay. yeah, when I was in, they actually lost some money. They lost some money. And they, they lost some money. One of my friends told me that he had made an investment. I think he was encouraging me to join that kind of investment. Yeah. Uh, at a point when he came, he told me that he had deposited about 25000 and he had gotten a loan mm -hmm. for the same. Wow. Uh, apparently, a few weeks later, I just saw it on the news that uh, that company's on the end. I've been looking for it. I couldn't find it. Oh. I tried to reach unto him. Yeah. It was that deep, but he told me that uh, I've lost money. Yeah. A lot of money. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, Mr. Malaya, that's actually, those are true stories. That's something I can I can tell you on a personal level. I've been in the space for about seven years, lost so much money. And uh, I think for me, it's a learning process. I mean, do you think it's really a scam or maybe there's an original side of it that people just don't know? Maybe people need knowledge. How do you think of the situation? Well, uh, interesting. I think uh, from my end as well, probably I would need some knowledge. And this could apply to others. The problem that we have in Zambia is uh, we are not able to differentiate what is uh, real and what is not. Uh, uh, apparently, most of the people they just see the, the return of the investment and they are actually moved by the return of investment. Uh, in my knowledge about uh, investment, is um, if you invest in a business that uh, is giving uh, rewards that are actually beyond thirty percent. Yeah. In, in <laughs> yeah, true, right away. <laughs> the, the margin shouldn't be more than 30%. If yes. you want 30%, I think you need to start questioning. Yes, yes. Then yes. worst you, you need to know the owners of the business. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty good. My young man is an economist. Yeah. Okay. He, he wrote uh, some good article regarding to to parents and uh, these pyramid businesses. Oh, the, the network marketing business. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So yeah. I think if you do not know the owner, you do not know, um, I mean, the, the profit margins are beyond that percent. I think you need to question them yes. and be able to analyze quickly before you get to invest in that such a business. Okay, okay. So uh, just one more question, one last question. Sure. Um, what, what would you say if uh, an institution was introduced or maybe even courses were introduced about you know cryptocurrency, cryptography, blockchain technology to educate people in universities, uh, in, to educate people in universities about what this actually is, and actually how to go about these investments. 
Uh, in interest in that is going to create awareness uh, to a lot of people. I think uh, when you educate you probably two or three, yeah. they, will, they will go out there and be able to educate probably five more. Yeah, sure. I think that, 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 that is a plus, especially for those that are doing financial and economic courses. Yeah. With the domain, they, yeah. they, they actually really need to know. I think uh, finance now has gone digital. Yes, yes. And uh, of course, I was reading some articles where they are saying cryptocurrency, of course, if you are to re- check even on record, cryptocurrency is quite doing well in other countries. Yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. we may not just know how to use it in the country, yes. and uh, we yeah, probably introducing a course yes. uh, regarding to financial and cryptocurrencies, I think digital currencies, yeah. uh, our coin. Yeah. Uh, it will be a plus and it will be quite a good number of people. Yes. Ah, you've been you've been a great person to interview, Mr. Mulaya. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. YouTube, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are living right. All right, guys. In today's video, in today's video, we're going to the Bonanza Golf Course. Now, guys, this place is lit. It's one of the best places to come to when you're every time you visit Osaka. Make sure you come through to Bonanza. Now, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you watch this video until the end because it's going to be an interesting video. In the next video, we go to the Bonanza Resort and try to explore it as much as we can as it is a super, super exquisite and perspicacious resort. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Peace.